Hey guys, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies. It's another another day of coronavirus. Uh, everybody is being asked to stay at home. And I wanted today to go over what I'm doing to still be active in business and in real estate while we have this deadly virus outbreak going on. So let's get started right now. So there's a lot of things that we could all be doing, but I think this, um, this virus has us trapped, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, I decided, you know, my business is pretty much, pretty much shut down. Uh, we have no orders coming in. Uh, I stopped by this morning just to kind of go in and cut computers off uh, that are probably gonna be sitting there for a while. But I'm not gonna let it deter me or my business. So one thing that I'm doing uh, right now is I'm going out for a walk all by myself. I wanna check out a couple properties that are under construction and a couple properties that are actually on the market. And one, I'm getting some exercise. Two, I'm not being stuck in the house. Three, I'm continuing to educate myself in real estate and in business in general. So come along, let's go check out some properties and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we're here at the first prospect that I'm doing. Look at the size of this house. We are over in Northeast DC in a neighborhood called Woodbridge. And I couldn't help but stop by to look at this thing. <clears throat> it's about probably, I don't know, 5,000 square feet, maybe more. Let me try to see if I can get a good angle for you guys. But look at the size of this joint, man. So it used to be an empty lot when I was here uh, two years ago. Let me go around to the back. Here we go, walking around the side of it. I mean, this thing goes practically, shoot, practically about a quarter acre. I mean, it's gotta be a, maybe eight or 10 room house. I mean, probably. Look at the dormers up top. And then, oh man, look at the, the brick foundation. I mean, that's probably the most expensive. It's a, a bluestone uh, textured brick. But directly across the street, right there on the corner, I'll pull pull that one up online so we can see it. But all right, so here we are on HomeSnap. I love using HomeSnap. It was developed by the MLS, um, so it's very accurate. So that's a picture of the side there, and <clears throat> as you see, it looks like it used to have a driveway with a garage, and they got rid of that. But um, you know. I guess that's their choice, but off-street parking in an urban environment is always a plus. There's from the front, that's a better view. As you see, it's a corner lot, beautiful kitchen. Look at those stairs, that staircase is awesome. Nice hardwood floors, living area with a fireplace. Dinette, another view of the kitchen. And you can see there it's three levels going down and then going up. And that looks like maybe a lobby. Then there is the, uh, I don't know if that's a master or not sure. Yeah, it might be a living area, not living area, a master. Beautiful um, bath, master bath. Another bedroom, bedroom bedroom 
So I was just trying to get you guys an idea of, you know, the the amenities that they use. You can see there it's an active listing now for $994,000. It's a five bed, five bath, 3,400 square feet. You can see that it's been on MLS now for over 60 days. But I like about HomeSnap is it, you know, well actually here, look in the description. They just dropped it by $200,000. Shoes. So they were listed, what, well over a million, almost 1.2. So HomeSnap, if you have an account, you can see the property history. So where is it? The price, okay, there we are. 2000, August of 2017, they bought this house for $470,000. Wow. But that's 10, 2017. Jeez, that's two and a half years ago. Um, and then you see they listed it in March of 19. So almost almost a year ago, they listed it for 1.199 and then took it off the market, relisted it again for 999 and then dropped it to 994. So, I mean, these, they've been sitting on this project for 17, so 18, 19. They've been sitting on this project three years, or the end of the summer will be three years. That's, man, that's a lot. All right, so let's go back to the video. It's listed in the high 900s. And look at the size of that. And then you have the traditional homes that are on this block that are just the basic, you know, single family, nothing special. But the size of this thing is astounding to me. I don't know what their plan is or what they think they can possibly get for this property, but it is huge. Love to get in contact with the guys who are doing the construction on it maybe get inside one day <clears throat> but even down here you can see this one's a new construction up here probably I mean it's a huge house but it's probably half the size of this one that we're looking at you no know, I mean look at that compare that right there and then look at the size of this house. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I know I sound dumbfounded. I don't know what they plan on doing. Oh man. So you got that million dollar listing on the corner. What do you think this thing's gonna go for? I mean, I have no idea. I'm gonna look these up as well. So maybe what I'll do, I'm gonna go look at one more right around the corner. All right, so we're back out here doing my uh, quarantine house marketing. And we got another property that is on the market. I am, so at that street right there, right here, sorry, right there. That cross street right there, is where we were just looking at that all new construction. And then right around the corner here, we have another million dollar listing in this neighborhood that is Woodridge, Northeast DC. Um, and let that ambulance go past. But this bad boy is another million dollar house. See if I get a better angle for you. But yeah, it's on the market. Um, I think not high 900s. I can pull up the uh, the listing here for you to see it. But <clears throat> I'd also be curious 
what they bought or what was this house's condition and then what they bought it for but what's weird and you'll find this in a lot of urban areas is if you look down the street here all the way down there there is a trash facility a couple nightclubs and then <laughs> right here we got a million dollar house So I'm out here um, kind of crunching numbers, man. They told us to hunker down, stay inside, not try to cross-contaminate each other. So I'm doing my part, but I'm working at the same time. I'm doing research. And even if you look down this street, really, really nice single family homes. But then, as I mentioned, that building over there, it's a big trash recycling facility right at the bottom of this street. And I'll go down and just show you what's around the corner. kind of get a better view of it here where these houses sit adjacent to trash recycling so going down this hill here you will see there's an apartment building here on the corner And then as you come around the corner, you go straight into commercial. So it's very common in this area. Um, one block will have commercial tow companies or uh, auto mechanics, and then the same street or directly around the corner, you have beautiful residential. So if you see here, this is all auto mechanics, tow company. Um, there's some sort of a food service back here. <clears throat> and then if you look back to where we were coming, you go right back in the residential. All right, so there you have it. Um, it's an amazing market in Washington, D.C. Uh, there is real estate that's going for what I would never imagine. Um, and they're not buying these properties for a ton of money, but the return on investment is astronomical. So I'm hoping that doesn't, doesn't hinder the fact that we're going through this global virus. Um, you know, as you see now, there's nobody out here. Nobody. There's no cars driving by. Nothing. Nobody. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Chris Birch, Entrepreneur Strategies. Oh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, comment below. Talk to you guys soon.